Okay, I'm going to show you something I think is pretty cool. Um, this is something restaurants, plumbers, uh, electricians, anyone that does delivery or has a service area of any kind where uh, you know, a customer might, might want to check, am I in or out of a particular delivery area for this restaurant? And uh, it also allows restaurants to define a delivery, delivery area that is... Um, uh, that they can make up. It's not limited by uh, a certain mile radius or anything like that where it's just a circle. You can draw pretty much any shape uh, on this on the map. And so imagine you're a customer and you're going to a um, this website and you want to see do they deliver to uh, me. Well one I could probably just see on the map but um, let me type in a zip code and uh, that's the current zip code of the, about of this area. Now you can type in a zip code, you can type in a specific address. Um, it's going to tell you whether it's in or out. So if I type uh, that in and hit OK, it'll then redirect. These are all options built into the plugin so that if you want uh, someone to enter their address and then before they continue on to order, um, you would uh, or go to a specific web page. Uh, it's just letting me know that I've been um, that I'm in the delivery area, and this is just a static web page. Uh, the plugin was set up to redirect based on success of, or failure. So now, if I type in another zip code that's out of the delivery area, it'll redirect to another page. So it says, "Sorry, we don't deliver." That type of thing. There are some other options here that are pretty cool. So. Um, Let's say if I here's another page I set up. Now you can also do it without even showing the map. So let's just say I type in an address and it's just going to say whatever message I want. And I'll show you where you set these up. So it's letting me know I'm in. So I could either show a message, I could redirect to tire another URL, um, or uh, or you can also, of course, just do these pop-ups. So um, now let's type in another, something outside. Oops. And it's going to give me another message. Sorry, you're not in. Okay, so um, let's go back. And let's show you how this, this is actually set up. So um, if I go into um, my WordPress where I have this set up, here is, um, here's the one where I set up the second one. Let's go into... You have this new area mapper, area map uh, option on the menu here. And let's go to the first one that actually shows the map. And I'll show you what the options are. Uh, you have to enter an, a Google API key. And I'll show you how to do that. There will be another video uh, after you purchase on where it's it's really simple and it's free. So um, then uh, here's where you set up your map. So in this case, I can actually drag these uh, things around I can add additional markers to kind of read you know define my shape better um, there's so I can pretty much define it however I want so uh, let's say a business is close to the highway they might want to go farther up the highway as far as a, a delivery area and um, uh, areas that they can get to easier and so they don't have to go with the standard um, you know radius type of thing okay so I've defined this delivery area and then you can center the map wherever you center it is where it's going to show up on the on the page and I can zoom out a little bit if I need to or zoom in and then once you've done that you just update it you can also do things like um, change the color for example Let me update that and let's go back to my map if I refresh this we should see the new map displayed in the new color. Okay, so that's again, that's a delivery map. It's interactive. I can zoom in and out and that type of thing. Um, now, let's say instead of doing a URL redirect, which I have these redirects on, so the way it works is um, you type in any URL you want, and then you can even use this. Uh, this is a merge field, so this uh, with the square brackets around the word address. This will redirect with whatever they typed in into, into the box there. It will be passed in the URL in case you want to do something with that. Um, I can turn these redirects off and instead I can go with these uh, pop-up messages. 
So if I go ahead and update this again and refresh here, I can type in a zip code and it'll show my location on the map. Um, a specific address, general zip code, street, probably even an intersection. I haven't tried that, but let's just see. Chupin, like Forest Road. I don't have a zip, so this could be interesting. Oh, it did a good job. It put, put it right there and uh, showed the intersection. So it'll show whatever addresses they type in and where they're located. All right, so um, now, um, well, let's just course we can type something that's out of the area it'll show it on the map and just say whatever message shows shucks we don't deliver to your area and again that is basically what I typed in uh, down here so you can put whatever you want in there it can, it can be HTML um, now let's say uh, on the um, I can hide maybe you don't want them to have to type in their address it's just a map you just want to show you can hide the address field and update it and let's refresh so I still have the map but I don't have the address okay so then um, again there's the other option which is you can hide the map and show the address so um, so there's a few features here that uh, are pretty handy and uh, unique I don't know if this exists anywhere else but um, then here are the short codes. So if you're using it on the same website, you can just use the short code, pop that into uh, a page on your site. If if you want to put this on the client's website and they don't have WordPress or they don't have the plugin installed or whatever, just copy and paste this code here, and you can put it on any page uh, on any uh, on any site anywhere. Um, also, there is if we look at users. There's a new user role when you install this, and um, let's see. Here's my area map user I created, and it shows that they are um, have the role of area map user, which means when they log in, they'll see their maps uh, that they can then change. Let's see. So here I am logged in as the area map user, and I can only uh, mess with the map that that is assigned to me as the author. So this also gives you uh, gives your clients the ability to go in here, and if they want to update their own map, uh, they can do that. So you just do it and update it, and they're good to go. So um, that pretty much covers it. Again, there'll be a video on how to get your um, Google API key uh, after you buy, but uh, this thing is uh, totally unique, and it's a great way, of course, to get in with restaurants. You can provide it as a free service, or maybe charge them a bit of money to set it up, or However, want, however you want to use it, um, but uh, it'll definitely be something that a lot of them have not ever seen before, and I'm sure uh, many will be interested. So thanks for checking it out, and let me know how it goes for you.